bring in nuclear expert and physicist Dr. Michio Kaku is with us again tonight. Good to see you, Dr. Kaku. Well, you have to go to the backup, to the backup? That doesn't sound good. Not good at all. We just dodged the bullet on this one. There are four backup pumps. One of them is out. If all four go out, then you're on the road to a full-scale meltdown. Fukushima. That's what happened in Japan. All the backup pumps went out, batteries went out. Then you're dead in the water. And then the core gets exposed. All right. Now, let me ask you about what I know our viewers on the West Coast are probably thinking, because they go through a lot of quakes, some of them bigger than this. Are they right to say, hey, guys, this is, this is not so big? There's a difference between West Coast and East Coast earthquakes. The West Coast is very fragmented. Look at this. The fault lines are like this. So when an earthquake fault moves or shifts, the energy is localized. Therefore, the damage is concentrated. So one shifts, but not everything shifts. That's right. And the energy is localized. You were saying on the East Coast. Right. We have the North American plate. And so it rocks as one unit. Ah. And so energy is scattered all the way to Canada, for example. And you so were even well, I was going to say, you were telling me earlier that it's a wake-up call for the East Coast that we are not immune. That's right. We have to prepare our building codes for the once-in-the-century earthquake. We are not prepared at all. Our buildings don't sway like those in California and Japan. Our buildings would collapse if we had a major earthquake in Manhattan. And realize that Indian Point uh, can only withstand a 6.0 earthquake, and that's a nuclear power plant north of New York City.